Where do we come from? What makes us uniquely human? What allowed us to succeed as Homo sapiens while all other relatives become extinct? For providing answers to these fascinating questions, 2022 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine was awarded to Svante Paabo, a Swedish evolutionary geneticist of Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology for discoveries concerning the genomes of extinct hominins and human evolution. This video is a humble attempt to explain his groundbreaking research on human evolution. Let's begin with a summary of contributions of Svante Paabo or why he was selected for this Nobel Prize 2022. First, he succeeded in developing techniques for sequencing archaic genomes. Previously, it was thought to be impossible to sequence nuclear genomes of our extinct relatives and he developed and perfected a technique. And he laid the foundation of a new discipline which was called paleogenomics, study of DNA sequences of present-day Homo sapiens with our extinct relatives to understand human evolution better. Secondly, he was the first one to sequence the nuclear genome of our closest relative, the Neanderthals. And finally, he discovered another extinct hominin, the Denisova, entirely from genome data retrieved from a small finger bone specimens like this, purely based on DNA sequence data, without looking into the morphological data. Previously, we looked, we excavated, and from the fossils, we studied the morphological and anatomical similarities and differences. Now, there is a shift from this perspective. With the contribution of Swande Babu, we are using DNA sequences to understand human evolution better. So this was the question, where do we come from, what allowed us to succeed while our relatives went extinct? A question from time immemorial. So these are the extinct hominins. Do DNA sequence studies help us to find out the relationship between Homo sapiens and our extinct relatives? Swande Pabo and his team pioneered in sequencing the nuclear genome of our extinct relatives. Next question is, why the analysis of archaic DNA from extinct hominin is difficult? It was thought to be impossible previously. The reason is, of course, the degradation of DNA as it is preserved for thousands of years. We may not be getting the right starting material for sequencing. The no contamination from microorganisms and contemporary humans all makes it difficult to get the starting material for DNA sequencing. That is why sequencing of nuclear genome is considered as an impossible task. Let's begin with the background of his initial study, initial study on the Neanderthal mitochondrial DNA genome. So he got a Neanderthal humeral bone from Rhenish's Museum, Germany. He developed methods for extracting DNA from ancient samples using silica-based purification methods. And he started sequencing mitochondrial DNA. At that time, all the researchers were focusing on mitochondrial DNA as the number of mitochondria inside a cell is very high, whereas there are only two copies of a nuclear genome. Often, it may not be preserved. It will be degraded or fragmented. So the norm was to sequence mitochondrial DNA for studying evolution. 379 nucleotides of Neanderthal mitochondrial DNA compared with 2051 human and 59 chimpanzee mitochondrial DNA sequences. And after this study, he concluded that present-day mitochondrial DNA gene pool originates in Africa. Common ancestor carrying this mitochondrial DNA lived 120,000 to 150,000 years ago. Neanderthals went extinct without contributing mitochondrial DNA to present-day humans. Mitochondrial DNA, as we all know, it is exclusively inherited through the maternal line or through females. So it gives a limited picture of our evolutionary history. We cannot make any solid conclusion based on the study of mitochondrial DNA. So this was a problem. Swande Pabo and his team developed, pioneered the study of Neanderthal nuclear genome sequencing. This was a groundbreaking research in human evolution. Let me summarize the steps. 70 Neanderthal bone and tooth samples from different sites in Europe and Western Asia collected, isolated the DNA. Novel high-throughput sequencing technologies at that time 
454 sequencing method was used. Single-stranded DNA libraries flanked by common adapters were created and individual molecules amplified through bead-based emulsion PCR, a modified PCR followed by virus sequencing. With rigorous experiments using many samples, he perfected a technique for sequencing the nuclear genome of our extinct relatives. And this was a finding. Neanderthal nuclear genome sequence was published in 2010. Homo sapiens genomes from different parts of the world were also sequenced to compare the data. The data suggested that between 1-4% to of genomes of people in Eurasia are derived from Neanderthals. Why this study was that much significant? He combined his in-depth understanding on ancient DNA degradation, used high-throughput DNA sequencing technologies and powerful computational resources to sequence the nuclear genome of our extinct relatives. Let me share an example. A genome was sequenced of 4,000 years old Eskimo that is reported in 2010. Pabo's group generated genome sequence from a 45,000 year old modern human from Western Siberia. So he has perfected a technique for sequencing nuclear genome of ancient times as old as 45,000 years old, which was thought to be previously impossible. And the second part of his discovery is the discovery of a novel hominin, the Denisovan. So this is the Denisova cave in Alte Mountains of Russia. So he thought that if humans might have settled in high altitudes, there's a chance of this DNA to get more preserved. And he caught a distal phalanx of the hand from this cave and he sequenced that in 2010 after phylogenetic analysis or comparison of the sequence with all known groups and extinct groups this group discovered a unique hominin named Denisova that is named after this cave an entirely new hominin distinct from Neanderthals and Homo sapiens the discovery made entirely on the basis of DNA sequence of archaic DNA without any available morphological information. Studies suggest that Denisova are a sister group of Neanderthals. Thus, by sequencing many nuclear genomes of our extinct prehistoric relatives, he established an entirely novel scientific discipline, which is called as paleogenomics, using DNA sequences of different groups of Homo sapiens and our extinct relatives to study human evolution. And finally, what are the implications or future prospects of this groundbreaking research? The question is, what makes us uniquely human? Can we answer these questions from comparing the gene sequences? Archaic genomes offer exciting new possibilities to identify critical genetic features that distinguish modern humans from Neanderthals and Denisovans. The second aspect is, as our closest evolutionary relatives, their genomes provide reference points that can elucidate specific human characteristics of relevance of physiology and medicine. For example, how our immune system evolved. These two groups have settled for thousands of years. Still, they, they are wiped out and replaced by Homo sapiens. So what might be the reason? Is there any change, any critical characters that is retained? So with this Many questions of relevance in medicine and physiology hopefully can be answered. Thank you so much for your patient attention. Stay blessed. Take care. Thank you so much. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.